Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today, I just put the flatbed trailer on the blue truck. So today, we are gonna go pick up a new seed drill. Those of you who have been watching will know that this year we hired to have our oats put down at the main farm. Well, this year, next year, we're going to be putting down a lot more oats with seeding alfalfa because the alfalfa that we've been ha been harvesting over the last few years has kind of gone downhill and every few years you got to replace it so we are going to get a new seed drill it is in spring green and it's an older drill but it is new to us and to my knowledge it is pretty similar to grandpa's old one and let me tell you about grandpa's old one it got the job done um, we don't really need anything that's huge because we don't do a lot of a lot of new seeding every year so uh, just something that can get the oats and the alfalfa seed down is all we really need so I just hooked up the trailer I'm heading up to the main farm now uh, I'm not totally sure how we're gonna load it whether he's gonna back it on or maybe he's got a skid loader he can pick it up and drop it on the trailer for us but um, if he doesn't we got to drop down the tail in the trailer so that we can back it up on so once we once I pick up them, we're gonna head up to Spring Green and we're gonna go check it out. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Yep, that's right. You're watching Travis on How Farms Work. Ryan wasn't able to come up and help us do this today. So Dad's been looking online and something we've been needing the last couple years that you can get by without, but it's sure nice to have, is a grain drill. Because we have a bunch of waterways that we would really like to get reseeded properly and we also have a bunch of alfalfa that we're going to be reseeding next year so dad was able to find and you guys are about to see it a grain drill and um we're gonna go out dad and i are gonna load up right now with you guys these guys we uh actually drove up above spring green it's about an hour and a half away from home to get it and i gotta get out here before they get it going before i get out there see us get a Kubota with tracks on the farm, but I think it's about as close as you guys are going to get.
Strawman. So we've got the seed drill in the shed here. Now I'm not totally sure at this point what footage Travis and Ed got while they went to pick this thing up because I had to be here. I had an appointment with my local internet technician because my internet has been going out very, very often. So uh, someone had to be home and I couldn't go uh, pick this thing up with Travis and dad even though I wanted to. But essentially, this drill is the exact same thing like Grandpa had. Uh, I mean, it looks just like it. Everything on it is the exact same. We got our boxes up front for alf our alfalfa seed. And we got our large boxes for the oats. So that's one thing that we were talking about um, prior to when Dad talked to the guy uh, about this thing is that Travis and I were going back and forth, be like, you know what, we really don't need like a big grain drill. We just need one that gets us by. That's the good thing about the one that Grandpa's had. I mean, his was old, just like this thing. This thing is old, but let me tell you, the one that Grandpa had got the job done. It was just one something that we hooked up to in the spring. We used it, and then we backed it in the shed and forgot about it. It wasn't really something that gave us a lot of problems. Um, I see that this one does have kind of the leaky cylinder up front like grandpa's had, but I mean, I'm not even totally sure when they made these things. All I know is that these things are pretty ancient. I uh, used to know the number that was on them. I don't know why, but it keeps trying to lean forward again. Here's the serial number. 167B. This is, I'm not totally sure. I th uh, maybe it's on the back. Nope. I can't remember what model they called this, but Grandpa's was a very good one. Now, this seed drill is ground driven. As the wheels turn, it runs a chain right here that drives the bar that goes across, and that runs the entire seed drill. It's got tubes that come out from the front box that run down the front and out the bottom. So as you drive, it drops the alfalfa seed out basically just on top of the soil. And, uh, and the, the alfalfa needs a parent crop. So the reason we use seed drills is because with the seed drill, uh, it allows you to put down oats. The oats will take off and it'll grow up and it's the parent crop to the alfalfa. Then you'll cut the, alf the oats off and the alfalfa will come up later in the year. And then after that, usually, usually th that kind of program is what they recommend to get the most yield out of your alfalfa is to use a parent crop otherwise a lot of farmers do just direct seeding like we did actually no we didn't do that here but um a lot of farmers will do direct seeding if they need the alfalfa now but usually the stand isn't quite as good using oats and um, having that parent crop so everything on this thing looks pretty good the guy who sold it to dad did mention that a couple of these arms over here are bent a little bit, but to be perfectly honest, um, they shouldn't need too much work. The only downside to buying something like this is that John Deere does not make these parts anymore. Um, anything that you need to replace, you gotta find yourself because um, this thing is outdated. But like I said before, for what we need to, need to use it for, uh, as long as it treats us as well as grandpa's dead, we shouldn't really have a problem. So the one thing that we have done, I gotta hold it up, is we've done a little bit of work on the hitch here. As you can see, here's the old one. 
try not to drop everything. Okay, there goes the hitch pin. So here's the old hitch. You can see that it's been welded and it's pretty well shot. So we went up to Larry's Welding just south of Linecaster and they made us a new hitch that is not only thicker, but it doesn't have any welds that are that's holding it together. So I'm, I got to mount this on there and then I don't know what kind of work else we got to do to this thing. You see that one tube is off right there. But anyway, having this thing back just kind of takes you back to kind of our childhood because, I mean, this is the drill that Travis and I grew up with. It's the one that we've always used. We're, we're used to it. Uh, we know what it takes to make it run. So anyway, we were looking at a wider um, Dad was looking at a wider seed drill, but he, I guess he found this and he decided that this would probably be a better deal. And I don't disagree. I think getting one of these is probably a better idea for us than getting a larger seed drill that would have costed upwards of a couple thousand dollars. Whereas uh, the guy sold uh, this seed drill to Dad for seven fifty, I think. So, yep. I'm going to finish putting this back on. I got all new bolts and everything to get it on there. And then I'm actually looking forward to using it for next spring. Um, we are going to be using it to put down waterways and everything. So, all right, well, let's get started putting this hitch back on. Well, there she sits. Got the new hitch put on. So, I have memories from when I was younger um, on grandpa's whenever we were putting down oats sometimes. Just make sure that everything is running good. Um, what you do is there's this board along the back here. Now what you can do, or what we do, is as we start to get going, you wanna make sure that everything's running properly that there's no plugs or anything because oats does have a tendency to plug up here and there. So what we do as we got started is someone would ride on the back and then just walk back and forth, check to make sure that the oats wasn't coming out of the back up here because the oats drops down and then if there's a plug, it'll come out this direction and it'll start pouring out here, which I mean is a good design if you ask me. So then that way you're not really crushing any seed oats, but and you just want to make sure that you walk along, make sure that there's alfalfa coming out each of the tubes, otherwise you'll have streaking. So, I don't know, I'm looking forward to using it again. But it's just one of those things where, yeah, we could have gotten by without it, but it is nice being able to have our own seed drill again because we don't have to worry about telling someone else, you know, okay, this is where the waterway needs to be, and we only want it to this far, and I don't know. But... I think it shall serve us pretty well. So that's about it for this video. Um, I'm sure I'll talk about it more as the year goes on, but for now, there's not really a whole lot to do to it. Uh, we do have to ch check it over and, you know, just make sure that everything's okay and all that. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll see you next time.